You start out, bunch of apples, core them, slice them, dice them, cube them, cut them into wedges, whatever you want. You don't need an exact amount of anything. I usually just fill up about halfway, a decent sized pot. All right, after you finally cut all your apples, I have about a dozen medium sized apples in here. Pot's about half, three fourths full. I'm gonna move that over to the oven on low medium heat to start with just a splash of water in the bottom. Now I'll pretty much just set it and forget it. Maybe come back every 10 minutes or so, give it a stir for the first little while. And after it all starts mushing up and breaking down, you can just let it cook for hours on low. Oh yeah, that bubbling. Oh, it's cooking and bubbling. Yeah, just let it cook and bubble. Just let this go until it's completely applesauce. All right, it's been about three hours or so about halfway through to so see how thick this is. I like to squeeze it all through a strainer to make sure it's all nice and as smooth as it can be. Just grab yourself any sort of bowl and strainer you have. Fill it up with your super thick apple saucy mixture. Just keep working it and working it through, eventually you'll get it, but it might take a little while. You could also use a blender, blend this into a super smooth puree if you want, but maybe not everybody has a blender handy, so I figured this easier way would fit for most people. So after all of that, this is about what I'm left with for skins and stuff that won't go through. Now you're gonna add all that right back into your pot. Make sure to get every last bit of it. Now this is where I sweeten and add all your spices in. I usually keep it pretty simple. About a tablespoon of cinnamon. Just a pinch or two of clove. And just a little shake of nutmeg. Sometimes if I have some around, I'll also use some ground ginger. Just a little bit. And about one cup of sugar. From there, thoroughly incorporate. Make sure it's all nice and smooth again. All right, after about a total of five hours on the stove, this thing is done and delicious and thick. Oh, it, it literally smells like apple pie. It tastes like apple pie. I. I can't even count the amount of things that you could eat this on. I'm going to let this cool down and then transfer it into a squeezy top container for easy application onto ice cream or toast or whatever else you want to use it for. Alright, to easily transfer into a squeeze container like this, I'll transfer I'll transfer your sauce into a gallon bag, or smaller depending on the batch size you make. This doesn't have a very nice tip as you see, it'll still work. Just cut a small hole in the edge or something to squeeze it into the container. Perfect. If you have any left over, feel free to just store that in that mason jar. And then, after all that hard work, 
Here's the end game. A little bit of cinnamon life, some sweet cream, ice cream. Oh yeah. Squeeze some of that on there. All of a sudden this whole thing's gonna taste like apple pie. No, you can't have any. Mmm. Oh my goodness, yeah. Yeah, this is some of the best. Apple pie sauce, apple pie spread, apple butter, whatever you want to call it. I hope you enjoy. Put it on any, everything. Thanks for watching.